Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is bilateral tubal ligation or female sterilization. What is bilateral tubal ligation? It is a procedure which causes sterility by blocking women's fallopian tubes, thereby preventing fertilization of the sperm and ovum. The failure risk of this procedure is 0.5 to 1.8 percent. What is the best time to perform the bilateral tubal ligation? It is at the time of cesarean section. Secondly, shortly thereafter in early postpartum period, that is 6 to 12 weeks thereafter. And thirdly, in the non-pregnant lady, we perform this procedure by mini laparotomy. What are the different techniques of bilateral tubal ligation? The most commonly performed technique is that of the Pomeroy procedure, in which we use the Babcock forceps or the cat cut sutures for tubal ligation. But this procedure is difficult in tubal adherence. The second technique is that if the modify pomeri, which is the exceed of mid portion of the tube after ligation with the two separate absorbable sutures. Another technique is that of the medliner procedure in which the tubes are crushed at the base and ligated with the silk, but the failure rate of this procedure is very high. Next is that of the Parkland method, which provides for immediate anatomic separation of the disconnected tubal segments, unlike the Pomeroy technique. In Yoshida technique, the saline with epinephrine is injected into subserosal area of the tube. Medial stump buried in the mesosalpings. Lateral stump ligated, kept outside mesosalpings and purse string suture is applied. The good point is that the failure rate of this procedure is very low. In airing technique, we use cat cut. The proximal tube is buried within the substance of myometrium, distal and buried in the mesosalpings. Airing technique has got very low failure rate. The laparoscopic sterilization involves direct visualization and manipulation of the tubes. It is associated with pelvic and abdominal abnormality being detected. Hospitalization is not needed. It has got cosmetic advantage and minimal post-operative pain and discomfort. The reversibility is more after clip application. So basically in laparoscopic sterilization, we make use of silicone band, filchy clips and holka clips. Next is electrocoagulation method in which we, we make use of monopolar and bipolar cautery. The disadvantage is that the reversal is very difficult. The fimbractomy or Croener procedure is another important technique of bilateral tubal ligation. This procedure carry very high failure rate and the tubes are tied and cut in this procedure. Next is that of the average method. In this method, a hole is made in the anterior leaf of the broad ligament. The femoral end of the tube is buried into this. This procedure carry very high failure rate. Next important method is that of the hysteroscopic sterilization, which make use of the Eshore method. In this method, the buscopone and NSAIDs are used to prevent the tubal spasm. The complication include fibrotic tissue reaction. The backup contraception is provided for three months because it is not immediately effective and hysterosalpingogram is performed to confirm the tubal occlusion. What are the complications of bilateral tubal ligation or female sterilization? Those include first of all bowel injury, bleeding, longer portion of tube being damaged, failure and the risk of ectopic pregnancy. Now what are the causes of failure? Those include first of all poor operative technique, secondly wrong structure identification, thirdly the recanalization, fourthly, the fistula formation, and reduced quality of female means the general health of a woman. How to minimize the failure of sterilization? That is by appropriate patient selection, pre procedure pregnancy test, pre procedure counseling of contraception, appropriate timing of sterilization, adequate operator experience, and the appropriate technique of sterilization. Now we will talk a little bit about the steps of Pomeroy method of female sterilization. With Pomeroy method, the mid isthmic portion of the tube is grasped and a knuckle of the fallopian tube is ligated with a single strand of a rapidly absorbable suture such as 10, 
or zero plane cat cut suture a second suture may be placed under the first suture if desired so thank you so much that was all about the bilateral tubal ligation or female sterilization subscribe on obstetrics guide allah hafiz